Well, hello friends. Thank you for joining me. Today, I wanted to show you how I make a dichroic glass pendant. Now, the reason that I say the way I make a glass pendant is because like all art, everybody has their own tips and techniques that they prefer. And dichroic glass is this extremely reflective, this one's almost like a mirror. Um, this is the only one that's not really two colors. Actually, it's kind of purpley. And then this one's like an orange and then blue when you put your hand up. So um, you can buy it in big sheets like this or I get it in more like a, a scrap bag because you, you get more bang for your buck that way. So, all right. So if you'd like to take a look at how I make this thing, then let's get started. All right. So start out, we light our torch. Propane first and then you slowly add oxygen to get the perfect flame. Now I'll be warming up the glass to gather as much at the top as I possibly can. I use my marble mold to help it along a little bit. And there's my sweet Gus S supervising. I think I've got it to about the size that I'd like, so I'm going to use these flat tweezers to squeeze it into a lollipop shape. Now I'm heating it up more so that I can pick up the dichroic glass. After some more heating and pressing, I'm going to add some blue to the background. Just a few dots of this blue to give it a little bit of accent. After I have this blue all melted in, I'm going to add my last color which is a brownish red. It's called Midnight Elvis. Now I'm melting all of those colors in, including the dichroic glass, to make one smooth piece. I'm attaching another piece of glass to use as a handle so that I can pull the top of this out into a loop.
Now I'll detach the pendant, flame polish it just a bit, and put it in the kiln. All right, fun stuff. So what I typically like to do is I will work on glass throughout the day and then I put all the pieces in my kiln at the same time and I'll bring them all down in temperature or anneal them um, at the same time. I usually go out the next morning and so it's kind of like my birthday every morning, except for no cake, but I can fix that. So let's take a look at our finished piece. So I used a silver chain on this one, but you could just as easily use a beaded chain or a lot of people like hemp with these bigger glass pendants. Either way, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and of course share. And yeah, comment down below on some ideas that you might like to see me make out of glass. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.